Happy Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, March 16th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across diving birds. Hmm. Maybe herons? They dive into the water to hunt, I think. Let's see if this is an H. Irk with at? Hmm. I can't think of anything that starts with H. I can't think of anything, actually, that's four letters. Hmm. Part of a pulley? Well, you usually use a rope with a pulley, right? I don't know what the actual pulley mechanism is called, though. Hmm. Final words of many a fairy tale. Well, the fairy tales I've heard usually end with happily ever after, right? So maybe we can put in ever after? Yeah, that looks good. Reason to draw a doodle, maybe? Hmm. Is it boredom? People usually doodle when they're bored. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so it's not heron. Hmm. I can't think of a bird that has these letters in it. Nay? That's kind of an old-timey way of saying no. Hmm. What's this long one here? Jane Goodall at times? This is looking like it's going to be a theme answer. Usually when you see a question mark at the end of a clue, it indicates wordplay. But a question mark can also indicate a theme. So it's not necessarily going to be straightforward wordplay clue like we're used to. It might just be a theme answer and it could work in a bunch of different ways. So I'm not sure exactly how this is going to be working. I know Jane Goodall was a scientist that worked with chimpanzees. Um, hmm. But beyond that, I'm not sure what it's going to be here. Hot time in Paris? Well, the word for summer in Paris is et, E-T-E, -E, and that's a hot time, right? Summer is hot, so that would make sense. Shakers or Quakers? Well, those are both religious sects, and I like the S at the beginning here because this is a plural. Hmm. Is this Grebes? I think I maybe have seen this before. I mean, being a fan of waterfowl, I should know this, but this is kind of an obscure one. Hmm. Okay, nay could be a no vote. Oh, not an on vote, a no vote. And then this starts with GN. Oh, I guess it could be not at, right? Part of a pulley, it does look like it's gonna be rope. Okay, well, that's good. Now, where blank we? I guess that's now where were we? And then, okay, so it's looking like it starts with ape for Jane Goodall. Hmm. It's not researcher though. That's too long. Hmm. It's gonna have something to do with apes. Arborists' interests? Well, arbor is like trees, right? So I guess that would just be tree. Rock groups? Hmm. I wonder if this is gonna be about music or if it's gonna be about minerals, like a group of rocks. What could that be called? Hmm. Late jazz pianist Chick. Oh man. Yeah, my musical knowledge is not deep enough for that one. That'll blank you? Maybe that'll cost you? Frozen yogurt flavor. Hmm. Four letters. Is it Oreo, maybe? Call to have food delivered. Um... I guess that could be order out. 
if you order out for food, you're calling to have food delivered. Yeah. Okay. Match in poker could be C, like you see someone else's bet. High calorie bakery offerings. Hmm. This is looking like it's going to be Oreo. So maybe this is tor Torps, possibly. Yeah, that could be. Ape recorder. I mean, she researched apes, so I guess, I guess that would make sense. Is this a play on words of some kind, or? Hmm. Yeah, I can't really see any theme-like structure in this quite yet. Okay, rock groups could be ores. There we go. It is about minerals. All right. This is looking like it might be Cory. Chick Cory, maybe? Corn farmer at harvest time. Yeah, this is looking like another theme answer. Well, corn comes in ears, right? It's looking like it might start with ear. Um, ear reaper? If you reap, you're harvesting, right? So maybe it's ear reaper? Hmm. Ape recorder, ear reaper. Hmm. Boy, I am not getting any kind of indication of a theme with these yet. Aesthetic sense? Aesthetic is to do with like appearances, right? So if you have a good aesthetic sense, you have good taste. SP at the end of this one invigorating as a walk could that be crisp i don't know about that i would want it to be brisk actually hmm i wonder if it's not reaper ease hmm certain train car certain train car it's not the caboose or the engine. It's not the coal car. Hmm, let's take a look at these acrosses and see if we can confirm this. Lousy. Oh, that could be bad, maybe. Diamond stat? Well, that could be RBI, but this would be an R if it was brisk also. So that doesn't really give us much new information. English novelist McEwen. I think that's Ian. I have heard of him before. I haven't read any of his books. Okay, ease. Okay, this could be a bait. Like if, if something like pain is abating, it's like easing, it's lessening. Yeah, okay. And then a diner car, yeah, there we go. Lousy. Yeah, that should be bad, right? Cad doesn't make sense. Cad is kind of like a uh a scoundrel right so brisk i think makes sense and then that would mean that it's not ear reaper it's something else maybe it's ear husker and it's not tort either hmm i don't know about that what's this here Word with liberal or language. Liberal arts, language arts, yeah. And then, so it's not Husker either. Ear jerker? Hmm, instead of tear jerker? I guess you jerk corn off the stalks if you're harvesting it, all right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I said, this isn't gonna be a traditional wordplay clue. It looks like we're getting familiar phrases whackified by maybe chopping off the first letter. Yeah, because that's happening in the Jane Goodall one too, now that I look at it right. Instead of tape recorder, we've got ape recorder. And instead of tear jerker, we've got ear jerker. Okay, so it's looking like we're missing T's or losing T's or something like that. Nabokov novel, hmm. I, I don't recognize this one. Sharp as a photo. 
I guess that would be in focus. Remove via a coup, say, that could be oust, like you oust a dictator or something like that, or a president. Capital near Glacier Bay National Park. Hmm. Is it Juno? Uh, I think it might be. You think of Glacier Bay, it's got to be pretty far north, right? Alaska? If you obey all the rules, you miss all the blank. Quote attributed to Catherine Hepburn. That's got to be fun. It's, that is true. All right, it looks like we've got a revealer here. All right, I think we sort of know what's going on, so I'd, I feel fine looking at the revealer. Usually on these earlier week puzzles, I'd like to try and figure out what's going on with the theme before I look at the revealer, but I think we've got a fairly good idea. I have a feeling there's gonna be some kind of play on words to get to the missing T's, but um, yeah, let's take a look here. Beverage with a phonetic hint to 17, 26, 51, and 63 across. Hmm. Well, I think it's gonna end in T probably, right? Because we're missing our T's. So what kind of T could that be? Hmm. Lost T? I don't think that's a thing. NYC's blank drive. I think that's FDR drive, right? That's on the uh, it's on the east side. It's like the expressway. Hmm. Abbreviation on a photocopier tray. Is it letter? Like letter size paper? I think that's probably right. Use a snake on, say? Hmm, yeah, this isn't the animal. I think it's a plumbing snake, so you could unclog a drain if you use a snake on it. Yeah, that's a little tricky. Iced tea, there we go. Yeah, I guess if you ice someone, you knock them off, or you, you kill them literally, but you knock them off figuratively. So maybe we're knocking off teas off of the beginning of these answers. That's pretty cute. Yeah. Okay. Well, now I'm curious. Let's let's take a look at these other theme answers and see if we can use our knowledge to maybe get them without too much help. Lumberjacks in unsafe working conditions. Hmm. Lumberjacks. I would want that to end in loggers. Hmm. The only thing I can think of that starts with or that ends in loggers is key loggers, but that doesn't have a T at the beginning. Hmm. And it would only be a two letter word here. Hmm, I don't know about that one. I do like the, the, the loggers ending, but I can't think of anything that, that would start there. Caterer's coffee dispenser? Hmm. Earn something, maybe? Maybe it could start with turn. The phrase would start with turn. Hmm. Maybe these are a little too hard to get. Again, with like, with themes that are like everyday phrases wackified when you modify them, some, sometimes they're just too hard to get without help because you don't know what the original phrase is going to be, so it's kind of hard to to do it, um, to figure it out without getting a little bit of crossing help. So let's see if we can fill these in a little bit more here. Let's just uh, finish off this corner while we're here. Right. Yeah, this clue in quotes means we need an equivalent phrase, so... Hmm, maybe it's I bet. Like you're not really believing someone. Roll for George Clooney, Michael Keaton, and Christian Bale. That's definitely Batman. Which is your favorite Batman? I want to hear it in the uh, comments. I think I gotta go with the OG Michael Keaton. He was just so delightfully weird. Okay, woman in a garden. I think that's gonna be Eve. They're talking about the Garden of Eden. Where parishioners sit. I think that's the nave. It's like the center of the church, I think. Gar of young Frankenstein. I think that's Terry, maybe? 
Hmm. Blank touch. And this is capitalized. So it's a proper name. Interesting. I'm not sure what this is. Is it a magazine or something? Honey loving bear. I guess that's Pooh Bear. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it's iPod touch. It's an iPod. Okay. Okay, so it was Terry Gar. And then is this acai here? Fruit from a palm. Yeah. Okay, so I guess this is Ada for the Nabokov novel. I don't know if I've ever heard of that one. All right, now maybe we can start getting some help on this. This third theme answer here. Strong aversions. Hmm. Kind of cable? That could be Ethernet, right? Mecca resident? Hmm. Where is Mecca? Is it in Saudi Arabia? That could be a Saudi. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. It does look like it's going to be loggers, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll put that back in. And then... OG, though? Hmm. They might be put up during a fight. Boy, I really want that to be Dukes. Hmm. Yeah, like your fists. I'm going to put that in and forget about loggers, because this G is looking wrong, too. I'll leave the R, because that's fairly likely to be a, an R here. Hmm. Ew? Could be yuck, maybe? Another equivalent. Broke a fast? Could be eight? Yeah. Directory listings? Abbreviated? Could be numbers? Maybe? Like pandas, yaks, and snow leopards. Hmm. I don't think it's Mayan. Hmm. I'm not sure what that is. Hobbyist's knife? That should be exacto. Right? So maybe this is ick instead of yuck? Yeah. And then exacto starts with an X. I think it's like that. An exacto knife. So maybe these are Asian. Okay. Yeah, that sounds better. And then this is looking like it's going to be Saudi. Okay, is this Axe Dodgers? Okay, yeah, I don't think I ever would have gotten that in a million years. Just trying to come up with that without any crossing help. But yeah, so that's Tax Dodgers becomes Axe Dodgers. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I wonder if Strong Aversions is going to be Odiums. Like if you find something odious... You really don't trust it. Um, yeah, that's a that's a, that's a pretty kind of arcane word there. Let's see if that works with this cross here. Fulfill as expectations. Yeah, that could be meet expectations. Lushes. <laughs> Somebody that drinks a lot is a lush. So those would be sots. To make sure you match the plural in the clue with the plural in the answer here. Old car that's a homophone of another answer in this puzzle. Hmm. Is that REO? REO? Oreo? REO? That's, I don't know, that's quite a homophone. That's a little bit of a stretch there. Um, but yeah, okay, we'll give him a little poetic license. All right, so yeah, look at that. I did say urn. Um, Urn tables? It's too short. Hmm. Ancestry. That could be roots. Go back to your roots. Make muddy as water. That's royal. Yeah, that's to stir something up to disturb the mud. Yeah, we learned that a couple of weeks ago. In your dreams. As if. A nice 90s slang term. Urn offering? 
turn offering? That doesn't, that's not a phrase that I recognize. Princes blank go crazy. Oh boy. Let's go crazy? I'm ashamed to admit I don't recognize this. Hmm. Name of self-identification as Deutsche for Germans. Name of self-identification as Deutsche for Germans. Well, Deutsche just means Germans in German, so... What are they actually asking for here? Hmm. I think this might be a, a specific word for this kind of word, like a self-identifying word. I'm not sure what it is. I don't think it's going to be a word in German. I think that's just an example. Hmm. Naysayer? Could that be an anti? Somebody who's against something? Maybe it starts with, maybe this starts with auto? Cat or goat breed? Angola? Yeah, we learned about Angola cats a couple of days ago, right? They have heterochromia quite often. Okay. Gift from above. I guess that would be a godsend, figuratively. That's pretty good. I now blank you. Hmm. I now pronounce you? I guess that's what the officiant would say at a wedding, right? Pronounce. Yeah, nice. Like an atrium. Hmm. An atrium. Trade jabs with, spar with. Make sure that with in parentheses at the end of the clue works if you put it at the end of the answer. So you have to be able to say spar with and still have it make sense. Yeah, that works. Okay, the city in 2002's City of God. I guess that's Rio, I think. Oh, this is not Angola, it's Angora. Yeah. Yeah, I think Angola is like a country or something. Okay, so like an atrium could be airy. Yeah, that makes sense. And then proceed here and there could be Rome. And then autonym makes sense, yeah. A name for yourself, I guess that would mean. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Turn of, maybe it's turn of something. Earn of, it's not turn of phrase, right? That wouldn't make sense for the coffee part. Hmm. Figure out, that could be sus out. Again, using the out at the end still makes sense. Castor or Pollux? Those are both stars, I think. Some IRS data in brief. Those could be social security numbers. I'm not surprised to see all those S's at the lower right hand corner of the puzzle there. Hmm. Jalopy. <laughs> That's a, another word for a kind of beat up old car. So that could be a tin can. Another word for beat up car. Passover meals or satyrs, yeah. Fight for, that could be vie for. Yeah, vi is like struggling for something. Wow, so urn of events. Okay, I guess because it's a caterer and they cater events, it would be an urn of events. Whew, that was a tough one. You saved the hardest one for last, I think, which is probably good because you kind of get the idea of what's going on. Yeah. I'm glad they did it this way instead of putting that one up here in the ape recorder at the bottom. Okay, so it's looking like let's go crazy. All right, let's see if that finishes it for us. All right, excellent job. All right, yeah, that was, um, that, yeah, that I think maybe took us a little bit longer than average. Um, I think the, the theme was a little, it wasn't like too tricky or anything, but it was just like, it's not something you can get without getting a bunch of crossing, I think, you know? It's just sort of like something that takes a little bit longer to get the hang of what's going on, which I don't think is um, a point against it. It's just kind of how it has to work. And then the iced tea was a pretty nice revealer. So yeah, this is a pretty kind of like standard fare Tuesday theme, I think. Yeah, but it was good. And there were some nice 
longer answers to go along with it here. Um, yeah, I think my only, <laughs> this, this homonym is a little bit, or a homophone, it's a little bit, um, <laughs> I don't know about that one. It's kind of funny how, like, not that close it is. Um, but yeah, I think all the theme answers were good, like seeing uh, Michael Keaton clued his Batman there. And yeah, I think that's about it. There wasn't like too much um, wordplay or anything beyond the theme answers. So, but yeah, that's kind of good for Tuesday. You don't want it to be too crazy hard. So yeah, this felt like a pretty solid, pretty solid Tuesday puzzle. Well, I hope you enjoyed solving that T-less Tuesday with me. I guess it would be an ooze day puzzle. Um, and I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow with a Wednesday puzzle. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.